What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using my all-time favorite Gen 9 Pokemon, Baxcalibur, alongside with a newer Pokemon, Archaludon in ranked regulation F. Now this team right here, pretty standard, pretty meta, but I want to bring you guys a team to help you guys push high ranks, and I'm telling you guys, this team is phenomenal. But starting off with today's team preview in the top left hand corner, we got Choice Scarf Thunders. Now, Choice Scarf is an item you don't get to see too much on Thunders, but I'm super excited to be using it on this Pokemon today. It's got Volt Absorb with Wild Bolt Storm, Thunderbolt, Snarl, and Terra Blast. Our second Pokemon is going to be my boy, Paloops, Pelipper, whatever you want to call it. Pelipper is going to be a perfect duo to pair up with Arch Ludon, set in the rain, and helping Arch Ludon pop Electro Shots left and right. Pelipper's got the Drizzle ability with the Focus Ash status item, and then I love its moveset of Hurricane, Weather Ball, Tailwind, and Wide Guard. Like I already mentioned, we have Arch Ludon. It's got Electro Shot, Body Press, and Stamina. That's really the only three moves you need for this Pokemon. Baxcalibur's in our fourth slot, and this Pokemon, every time I use it, I love it so much. It's got Glaive Rush, alongside with Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, and Protect. Solid moveset, can do some big time damage, alongside with a nice little priority move with Ice Shard. Our final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be the Fake Out Brothers. We got Rollaboom and Incineroar. These guys, phenomenal in ranked battles. You can set terrain, you can drop attack, you can fake out, and with both of them on your team, just constant fake outs at all times. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Arch Ludon and Bax Caliber team in ranked regulation F. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a Don Dozo and Tatsugiri. They also have Scizor, Dragonite, Golden Go, and Fluttermane, but Don Dozo and Tatsugiri is going to be a real problem for us. So how should we play this one? Who should we lead and how should we get after it? I don't mind going in with Arch Ludon. I feel like we might need to go in with Arch Ludon and start boosting our stats right away. Considering that can be very helpful for us, especially when Don Do Dozo potentially comes onto the field, right? So if I can start boosting my stats, then when that Pokemon comes into action, we can actually have a nice little counter to it. So I like Arch Loot on here. I think I'm just going to pair it up with Pelipper in the rain because they have no weather control. So I can just go Pelipper, Arch Loot on. I can bring Rillaboom in the back end, who I really like. And last but not least, I do like Bax Calibur here as well. Love having priority moves. Priority moves are just so massive, especially in doubles. We got to bring in Bax Calibur. Plus, we have Glaive Rush. Love that move too. Big time damage coming out from that. But yeah, Ice Shark can be four times super effective onto Dragonite. Flutter Mane's not that bulky, so if we need a little bit of damage left on it, we can hit it with that. Just a good Pokemon all around, so. I like the team that we have today. I do like the team. I do love this team. But I wonder who they're going to lead, because they have so many different options. I mean, they don't have a Tailwind Setter. So I feel as this Flutter Mane could potentially have Icy Wind, so I could see a Flutter Mane leap. Maybe? If that's the case, we could Wide Guard a shot. We could definitely wide guard a shot, but I would love to just start getting stamina boosted, especially up against this Arch Ludon. On top of that, since they don't have weather control, that's why we're, we're leading weather. And then we can just start popping electro shots, getting off the special attack boost, all that good stuff. The Arch Ludon, just a massive threat. Such a good poke. It's so good. So they're going to go Tatsugiri alongside with Fluttermane. Now from here, I mean, wide guard probably our best friend. Let's be honest here. I could just start popping Electro Shots. You gotta swap, if anything. We're just gonna go into this Fluttermane slot with that. And do I Y Guard here? I feel like we should over Tailwind. I feel like we should, because if they're gonna go for any moves, it's Dazzling Gleam, Icy Wind, Muddy Waters. I feel like they're the three. So yeah, I'm gonna pop a Y Guard here. I'm gonna let him know that we're here. I'm gonna let him know we're here with this Y Guard. Try to boost our attack. They wanna swap into Don Dozo. That'd be kind of odd, but we are throwing Electro Shot into that Flutterman slot, so I don't mind that. We could see a Protect from Tatsugiri. A lot of different options. Yeah, there's a Protect from Tatsu. So Tatsu's going to go for a Protect. I don't mind that. I'm kind of hoping a Gleam is going to fly out here. That could be very, really solid for us. So I'm just going to pop a Wide Guard. It's going to be a, a Parasol. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, we can waste out some turns here. We can waste out some turns, but Parasong actually a really good move to actually stop me from just starting starting to bulk up. But we might want to swap Arch Loot on right now. Our best bet might be swapping Arch Loot on this next turn. Might be our best bet. Might be our best bet. 
Or do we just attack? I think we attack this turn. If they swap in anything, they could. This could be big time. Um, I could go after, you know, you. Because you might protect here. If you're rocking Parasol, you might protect. You know, I'm going to go into Dragon Pulse here. And this could be a good turn to swap. Let's be honest. This could be a solid turn to swap. This could be a good turn for me to swap. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the chain. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the swap here. I'm gonna take the swap. So I'm gonna swap that and on top of that, I think I'm just gonna launch a hurricane into the Fluttermane slot. Because if it does stay around, I would love to just pick up the KO onto it. Even though I think it's gonna protect. I think I'm just gonna double swap. I'm really just gonna double swap here. The double swap, we're going for it. Yep, there there we go. That's fine. So they're swapping into say Don Dozo here. Let me see. Is it Don Dozo? It is, so we get off the double swap for free. They're boosted, though. They are a little bit boosted. They are boosted. So we're double swapping. We get rid of the Paris song off of us. That was a solid a solid play for them, to be honest. I think that's a great play for my opponent. Paris song using a odd but very good way. It was more of a way to just force me to swap out here, right? I probably should have popped an Electro Shot in that slot. Probably just should have kept the same thing. It probably could have been pretty good for us. But I don't mind this swap. I don't mind it. I can fake out this turn. I could swap back into Archer Ludon. If I want that to be my play, I could. I could make it my play. That m maybe should be my play. And Tatsugiri's in the mouth with Parasol. So, from here, we could just fake. Or, we could just swap. That's going to be my plan. I'm going to swap into Arch Loot on here. I got the vest. I, I could get stamina boost it. I don't mind this. He's going to protect one of these turns. One of these turns, he is going to protect. And that actually works out perfectly. That actually, dude, this Parasong was so good. This Parasong was so good because killing Tatsugiri actually helps him. It benefits him. And we're going to see a Terror type pop out here. Please don't be Ghost. What do you got cooking here? It's going to be Ghost, and I'm going to be upset. No, it's going to be Grass. So Grass comes out here. I don't mind that. We're just dropping a Fake out. And she's going to Protect next turn. We already know that's coming. We already know Protect is flying out here. So he's going to flinch. Um, yeah, it's just tough for us. I think we might just want to swap. Max Caliber, maybe into Pelipper. Actually, I mean, we can keep Pelipper with Focus Ash. I think I'd rather go into like Bax Caliber with the ice move. I like this. So we're going to swap into you. And if we can, we are just going to throw an Electro Shot into this slot. I mean, we're trying to boost our stats here. I'd rather get a special attack boost. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. Because I think Don Dozer protects here. I really do. Let's us Tatsugiri die out to the Parasong and then bring out another Pokemon on its side. I just think that's the play. I really like this combo that they're going into. He goes for a Fisher. Chill. Chill. A Fisher? Yo, you gotta stop that. This thing's going for Fisher. So I know this Electro Shot is doing probably like negative six damage, but I want this special attack boost. I think it's really gonna help us out. Fisher? This has gotta stop. This has gotta stop. So, but Tatsugiri is gonna die out here. Which I mean doesn't really help us because now they have Don Dozo and probably Fluttermane going to come out here. He's going to maybe pop another Parasong. Potentially, right? Potentially another Parasong is going to fly out here. Let's see who they throw in here. And now it's going to be Golden Go. So Golden Go comes across here. I mean, Terrasalizing not going to be bad. And I'm going to throw a Icicle Crash there. And furthermore, I could go Dragon Pulse or I could boost my stats a little bit more. But I mean, Electro Shot probably going to be your best bet when going after this Golden Go. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do that. We're going to Terrasalize here as well because I'm not dealing with the Steel-type move into this slot. We're just not doing it. We're just not doing it. So I do have Assault Vest, which is pretty good. Um, it's going to help us out up against this Make It Rain if it does pop. But we're Terrasalizing into Poison just in case. And this thing is probably just KOing us, right? Yeah, in the rain. We're gone. We're gone. We are gone. So now we're going to be forced to bring back out. I think the rain is going to stop. So I think bringing out what's called is going to be pretty solid for us. Bringing out uh, Pelipper. But at this point, Pelipper could pop a Tailwind. We do have Focus Ash, which is good. 
And I might want to pop a Tailwind. Let's see how much damage this Electroshock does. Not bad. That's some good damage. So Archer Luna helping us out tremendously here. And this thing's going to go for a nasty plot. A plot full of nasties. We plot it up. The rain stops. Now's a good time for us to go into... Do we go into maybe... Do I maybe go into... What's it called? Rillaboom here? Do I maybe go into Rillaboom? No, I think we just go into Pelper here. What's your speed, Pelper? Because I would love to get Tailwind speed control here. I don't know if you're faster than Golden Go. I do not know if you're faster than Golden Go. Arch Ludon isn't. So I doubt you are. We do have Focus Ash, which is good. So I'm going to go into you. Man, this is kind of scaring me. It's kind of scaring me. I got to get off this Tailwind. I have to get off this Tailwind. To go for a Wide Guard here. I could Wide Guard up. But I'm just going to go for Tailwind. See how they play this one. I'm just going to look to finish you off. I doubt they double down the Pelipper here. And they just cancel battle? We'll take it. I don't understand why our opponent canceled, but we'll take it. Like I already said, we will take it all day long. That was actually going to be a really close battle. They did have plus two on gold to go, and Dantoza was boosted. So I feel like they kind of had the edge. But if we were able to get off Tailwind, we could have made, maybe made a comeback there. And I think that's where... We were at in the match. That's exactly where we were at. We were kind of like in a middle place where it was just like they had a little bit of an upper edge, but we were trying to make a comeback, and they just canceled battle. So it wasn't like they didn't have a shot. That's why it's so weird that they canceled the match. But hey, we'll take that win. We're 1-0. Going up against a Gouging Fire team today, and I was going to use the Gouging Fire team today for this video, but I want to use Bex Calibur and Archer Luna just because I love these Pokemon so much. But their team doesn't have any weather, so I could just go Pelipper and Archer Luna again, which I don't mind. I don't mind doing to be honest with you guys. I do not mind it. So I'm gonna go in with both of them. I'm gonna bring back to Calibur again. And last but not least, I think the Choice Scarf Thunderous could be nice for us. I do like the Choice Scarf Thunderous. I just think being able to have that speed is very viable for us. We do have Terror Blast with flying if need be. Just such a strong Pokemon. Especially any Pokemon with like Choice Scarf, just having that ability to outspeed your opponent is just so massive. So I like having the Choice Scarf Pokemon, at least in the back end. I feel like Choice Scarf, Choice Band, Choice Specs. They're just so good. Especially late game. Because then they can do big time damage. They can outspeed. I just love them so much. But well, we're going to see Fluttermane and Tornadus come out here. Not Tornadus. Landorus in his incarnate form. And we're pretty much forced to terrestrialize our... Our Arch Ludon, right? We're pretty much forced to terrestrialize it. I think it's a Fairy Terror, correct? I believe it is. For the most part, there. Yeah, it's gonna be a fairy terror. So yeah, we're gonna have to be forced to fairy terror. Um, I could pop a weather ball. I could pop a tailwind. Uh, I am gonna try to pop a tailwind, and we're just gonna terrestrialize and go for an electro shot here, because I would rather boost my special attack here and start getting after it that way. So yeah, terra fairy fairy coming out here. Arch Ludon gonna be a big part of today's team. We do have Bax Calibur in the back end, which I love. It got dumped on in the last match. We used our Terra, and then they were just like, nah, we're wave crashing with Don Dozo in the rain. Took me out no problem. But out comes this lovely little Terra for us. Icy Wind's going to fly through here, and we're hoping the ground move is flying. They're going to give me a defensive boost. They are going to give me a defensive boost here. The Stamina coming out here, and Earth Power is flying. We should soak that with the Vest. That damage output, a little scary. Definitely a little scary, but we are plus two. They're plus two. Tailwind is flying, so we get a little bit of speed action going on here. Um, he still might not speed me, which kind of sucks, man. Which kind of sucks. We get the plus one. Hmm. The sheer force with the lander is just massive. We get off some big time damage. Not able to KO. But from here, I think Weather Ball could be good, or I could just wide guard this. And then probably be able to outspeed. Yeah, because there's definitely going for another Icy one, correct? And then I can just maybe take out you. We're going to try that. We're going to try that. And he just protects you. Are you kidding me? Show me a Dash and Gleam, though. Show me Gleam Gleam. Show me Gleam Gleam or Icy one. This is tough news for us. Moon Blast. Smart play. Smart play. That's tough news. I was really thinking Icy Wind was flying again, slowing us down. 
So big time protect comes out from them. He ends up just moon blast and getting rid of my arsenal. That's a smart play. So I mean, I could bring out Bax Caliber here. I could bring out you, and I think I'm just gonna bring out you. I think yeah, I think we're just gonna bring out the choice Pokemon. So from here, I think I can just rip a, a nice little Thunderbolt alongside with a Weather Ball. I kind of like that. I could go into Wild Bolt Storm just in case something else happens, but I think Thunderbolt's just a safe play just to pick up the KO. The Thunderbolt gonna fly here, get rid of you. They just realize we're choice. We get a crit, but we were KOing regardless. And Pelper, I'm thinking should outspeed. Only minus one, but Tailwind's out and about. Weather Ball gonna fly. Let me KO. We do, yo. That's a big time KO from Pelipper. That's a big time Pelipper KO. I feel like Pelipper's always coming in clutch, man. So now we have Tailwind up. Pelipper's outspeed and most. My Thunderous is going to be fastest on the field. And they're going to throw out Gouging Fire along with... Who you got? Who you got? Urshifu. So Urshifu is the dark one. Um, let's start ripping Hurricanes, which I like the most. And I'm just going to start Snarling. No, they're physical attackers. We shouldn't go for Thunderbolts. Um, I could double down into you. Excalibur looking kind of tough up against these guys. I mean, Glaive Rush could be do some big time damage. So I'm just going to look to get rid of Urshifu. I think it's going to be my play. Double down at Urshifu here. Hopefully he doesn't detect. And this thing's going to be the one that protects. Goes for a Burning Boar. Could be a double protect, to be honest. Wasting out Tailwind turns. And it is. And it is. So they're just reading out what we're doing here. They're wasting out a Tailwind turn. We got Thunderbolt flying. Um... Hurricane also following behind. And now this leads me to think that they're going to Terrasalize the Urshifu, right? So Tailwind's gone. They also beat my Pelipper now, which is kind of tough moves. So I could go for another Tailwind here. But I think our best bet is to just double down to this Urshifu. As much as I want this Tailwind. I do really want this Tailwind. I think we need this Tailwind. I really do. We're going to go for Tailwind if we can. So Tailwind, Thunderbolt. Let's drop it. Let's do it. They'll probably double down to Pelipper. They do not want another Tailwind to set up here. They really don't. They really don't. They could just be going for Wicked Blow. And I think Wicked Blow will KO my Pelipper. We don't have our Sash anymore. So out comes the Terror type from Urshfu. Probably a Dark Terror type too. Right? So, I mean... If it is, yeah, it is. Wicked Blow is just KO my Pelipper all day, which sucks, man. That sucks. So this match, not looking good for us. Not looking good. Thunderbolt is out speeding. Can we do half damage? We do more than half, which is gorgeous. Breaking Swipe and a fly through here. I don't mind that. And what are you going for? That's the real question. What are you going for, Urshifu? Wicked Blow. And the Pelipper? Yeah, you are KO my Pelipper. So that's not anything cool. Crazy, but the thing is, Sucker Punch could KO me here. Which is not looking good. Sucker Punch is not looking good for the KO. Sucker Punch not looking good. We are gonna double down into Urshfu at this at this one. Do we actually? Or do we just go for like a Glaive Rush? I sure might be able to KO. I'm gonna go for a Glaive Rush here into the slot. I'm gonna Glaive Rush up. Um, I am going to end up going for the Thunderbolt. Sucker Punch is scaring me because I believe it does KO me. Yeah. It sucks that we're choice because they're going for it all day long. And it is going to KO me. So Glaive Rush going to fly here. We're going to have to maybe go for like Ice Shard here. And look for the KO. But Breaking Swipe is going to drop our attack. I kind of still hope that this can KO. I know we're minus one, but Glaive Rush? Oh, we have Clear Amulet. Oh, this should still KO. So we do KO. Can Ice Shard win us the match? Can Ice Shard win us the match? I can't protect through this. If they go for Sucker Punch, they win. But I'm hoping they don't go for Sucker Punch. And we can just KO with Ice Shard. Bax Caliber clutch up for me. No, they do go for Sucker Punch, which is absurd. It is absurd. We take double damage. We were dead regardless. So, Urshifu coming in clutch with Sucker Punches and that big time Dark Terror type. That last match wasn't too bad, but that Dark Terror type really doing us dirty. We are sitting 1-1. One one. Would love to grab you guys a winning record, especially with this Arch Luna and Pax Caliber team. Because I'm loving it. I think it's a very strong team, too. I just don't think I'm playing that good with it. But I can definitely make up for it here in match number 3. We're going up against a Sneasler team. Sneasler and Rillaboom definitely pair up pretty well here. 
they can think me out they can do a lot they got a lot of different actions here um they are gonna go Robum and Sneasler I do really like Incineroar here for the lead they do have a bit of weather control with Ninetales in the back end so I am going to lead Incineroar alongside with Pelipper Baxcalibur <clears throat> who do I want here I kind of like Baxcalibur I kind of do like Baxcalibur but Sneasler is scary because of the fighting type right we do have Ghost Terror with you so I kind of want to go maybe just into like a choice scarf Pokemon that could work pretty well especially with Flying Terra I am going to end up going into you so I'm going to go into both of these guys I am going to bring back Calibur in the back end and last but not least I do kind of want Pelipper just in case of just in case Alone Nine Tails is out here trying to set up a war bells late in the game or even in the beginning of the game we can just swap the Pokemon get the weather control and kind of just go from there but I do like our lead Elite does kind of counter the Sneasler Rollaboom combo. Two physical attackers, Intimidate just blocks it up a little bit, helps us out tremendously, and then we can kind of thrive out the match that way. But from there, they do have two, that, that is two fake out, which is right. Sneasler learns fake out. I believe it does. But they're going to go Sneasler alongside with Tornados. Okay. So I don't mind this. One of them has the code. I'm guessing it would be the Tornados, right? And from here, I think just a simple Wild Bolt Storm, maybe Fake Out into the slot, is our best bet. Yeah, I like it the best. I like it the best. So Fake Out is going to pop into the Tornado slot, or not Tornado, Thunder slot, and he's going to Poison Touch me with that. That's ridiculous. You Poison Touch me with Fake Out. It's a little absurd. And I'm flinching. So he's going to be able to pop a nice little Bleak Wind Storm. No big deal. Hopefully no speed drops fly through here. That could be nice. And beautiful. No speed drops. We love it. We love no speed drops. So we are choice scarf, which is great. Which is beautiful. And now could be a solid turn for me to kind of just like go for a parting shot here. And I think it's going to be my play. I'm going to go for a parting shot. And I'm just going to wall bolt storm with our speed that we have. The tailwind flies here. Sneasler might still be slower. I doubt it. Sneasler's kind of fast Pokemon. He's just going to close combat me. Take out my... Ooh, not take out my Incineroar. So this is a solid turn for us. It's a solid turn for us then. As long as Wild Bolt Storm lands. Because I get out Parting Shot. I get the Swap. I could bring out Pelipper. Try to set up Tailwind at this point. Wild Bolt Storm is not missing. Big time damage. Bringing Tornadus down the one. Are you even Sashed? And we get a Paralyze. You're not even Sashed! Things just getting free Focus Sashes. Now Parting Shot flies. So now is a decent turn for me to bring out Pelipper and set up Tailwind. Yeah, we're bringing out Pelipper all day long. Tailwind Pelipper. We love Tailwind Pelipper. Where's Pelipper at? There we go. So Pelipper's going to come out here. We're going to try to set this Tailwind. And good thing it is. And the good thing about this Tailwind is that we're setting it up uh, in a staggered turn than their Tailwind. So if we can KO their Tornadus, which we're going to very, very soon, then we can pretty much just have a Tailwind turn late in the game. So I could actually go for a Wide Guard here. I could go for a wide guard, but I am going to set up this, this, what's it called? This Tailwind, and then just follow through with a Wild Bolt Storm. So Sneasler is paralyzed right now, which is good. Both my Pokemon do soak this. And, quick question, who's going first? Is Sneasler outspeeding me? Probably now. No, you're not. Beautiful. The Wild Bolt Storm is picking up the KO. We do get off Tailwind. We do have Choice Scarf, which is gorgeous. And if they have no Pokemon with first turn priority... Which I would think they have Rollaboom, right? I was going to say, I think they would have Rollaboom. Then I could get off a Wobble Storm, which is huge. The Tailwind here. Nice, lovely Tailwind. We have Incineroar in the back end. We have Bax's Caliber. We still have our Terror type. And I am down low on HP. Both my Pokemon. Real low on HP. Real low. So Incineroar is going to come out here. Don't tell me you have Incineroar and Rollaboom for double fake outs. And Raging Bolt. So he's going to have to choose who he wants to fake out. He is going to have to choose here. I mean, you do have Thunderclap. Oh, man. Tough news. Tough news for us. Um, Because I would love to just go for, like, Weather Ball here. And Wild Bolt Storm. But, again, Fake Out Thunderclap is probably the play. Let's be honest. Yep, there's Thunderclap. And I'm going to... Oh, we went into this slot with it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's big time for us. Because now I'm able to get off Wild Bolt Storm and Weather Ball. Wow, no fake out either. That's huge. That just won us the game. That just won us the game. 
the choice scarf thunder is really being a big part in this matchup here and i'm super surprised he went for thunderclap into that slot i thought it would be thunderclap into pelipper and then just fake out into the thunder slot that would be an easy double ko and then the match would have been close but hey we'll take that all day from here we're just gonna launch a hurricane gonna do a bit more damage and wobble storm i wish i could snarl here and they're just gonna start going for thunderclap which is totally fine because you know why? I believe their Tailwind runs out here, which is pretty nice. And our Tailwind's still going, so I can bring out the Bax Caliber. Look to pretty much finish off this match with a Glaive Rush. I mean, they still have Terra, which could be Fairy Terra. Could definitely be a Fairy Terra. Do we Terrasalize just in case they have Fairy Terra? We might want to. We might want to. We might want to. Yeah, I'm going to Terrasalize my back to Calibre. Because if they Terrasalize Fairy and we're going for a Glade Rush, then they could just land a Draco Meteor and KO us. So yeah, this is exactly what I'm doing. Or I could just play it safe instead of Glade Rush. Just go into Ice and Rush. Probably my best bet, right? They're both super effective. They're both going to do massive damage. So yeah, that's my best bet. Definitely my best bet. So we're going to Terrasalize just in case they're going for the Dragon Move in the knee. Poison Tower type is actually not anything bad. It actually helps us out. But yeah, Iso Crash, just a safer play than, than Glade Rush. Because again, a lot of a lot of Raging Bolts do rock the Fairy Terra. Look, here it is. I'm telling you guys. Gene, Gene's a lot smarter than he than you guys think. Look at this, Fairy Terra. What I say? What I say? This is why we had to go for the Iso Crash. The Iso Crash is going to help us out. Wild Bolt Storm actually going to be able to do decent damage here too. Which is good news for us. It's connecting. Big time damage. We're not going for the Glade Rush. Going for Icicle Crash, and can this just KO finish it off? It doesn't, but it brings it real close. And this is why we Terrasalize too. So everything working out perfectly on that turn. The rain finally stops. We can go for well, Ice Shark KO. I would think Ice Shark KO. We're going for the Ice Shark here. Because now Raging Bolt outspeeds my back to And if it's going for, say, like a Draco Meteor, it's going to KO me. But instead, I can just go for Fake Out, Take Out. Right? The. I can bring out Incineroar here. We got the fake out takeout combo coming here. What's good about Raging Bolt is, or good for me, is that it has no double hitting moves besides maybe Snarl. So, we should be fine here. I'm just gonna go for an Ice Shard, go for fake out, looking for the fake out takeout, and they just canceled the match. So, two and one for today's video. Love that we got that winning record for you guys. I got you guys. Don't worry, Gene's got you guys. Two one winning record. Love that we got it for you guys today. Rocking out with this Choice Scarf Thunderous, which I actually really, really like. Arch Lunan, great as always. Bax Caliber coming in clutch in match number three. Then you had Rollboom, Incineroar, and Pelipper, who was just top tier in the weather control, really helping us out, helping us grab us this winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.